welcome back and welcome to my channel today we are going to be doing our wash day routine for my hair yes i've wanted to do this for a long time but finally i'm doing it and i hope it comes out okay so without any further ado let us see what's going on okay um i don't sleep with this because it has cotton and don't do any um here's the state of my hair It is definitely dry, um, but I want to shampoo my hair because it's been a minute since I did a shampoo. So let's start with that and we'll continue. So I went to the bathroom to shampoo my hair. I'll not shampoo but wet my hair and I used the Fat Protein Nourishing Shampoo by Dark and Lovely which I do not recommend if you have natural hair but maybe it can work for you but on this particular day I didn't dry out my hair as much as it used to and I put it in an applicator bottle because most of the time my hair is like not most of the time but the dot is on the scalp and that's where I want the shampoo to focus on and the applicator bottle provides that for me. I normally use the sunlight or green bar to shampoo my hair because it's gentle on my hair, doesn't dry out my hair and also I can detangle my hair when I'm using it. It uh, also like my curls they pop up pop up pop out a bit um, which is great but i've heard one lady on youtube saying that they're using the sunlight liquid uh dishwasher soap and it's not working great so if you're using that and it's not working try the sunlight bar and yeah maybe one day i'll buy money <laughs> i'm not buying money but i'll buy shampoo that will work on my hair because this one was a fail i used to use the afro botanic kids shampoo but it dried my hair as well i didn't love it as much and it was thin it was not even thick so i didn't really enjoy using that shampoo so i'm not going to purchase it but i'm going to purchase the other one afro botanics with l 2 c and try out that one this is mainly a shampoo that i'm going to try or i'm recommending based in south africa if i get a chance to buy other brands that are international then you will definitely know about it um just because i'm not in the bathroom i am focusing on my scalp i'm massaging my scalp making sure that the shampoo is thoroughly cleaning my scalp i then went to the bathroom to wash out the shampoo and i made sure that i didn't leave shampoo at all residue of shampoo just because i wanted it to be clean all right so I am done with shampooing my hair and now I am going to deep condition. I am going to use the deep penetrating moisturizing deep conditioner by Afro Botanics and I also want to use this treatment. It's a repair and strengthening treatment by Afro Botanics as well because I haven't tried it to its fullest potential. Sorry. So I want to use the deep penetrating um, conditioner and here's the consistency, very thick. Um, I definitely do love thick conditioners, uh, deep conditioners. So yeah, this is a plus and I also love it as well. So I'm gonna put it on and make sure that my hair drinks this. The other thing is I'm heavy handed, so be aware of that. So yeah. The other thing that I definitely love to do is I love to finger detangle my hair. 
most of the time before I go in with a comb just to make sure that everything is out and about see my hair when it has product so that I'm aware if the product is working or not but this I usually use oh my goodness water everywhere so yeah let us do this do this I normally do this like this and I focus here this also helps with making sure that every bit of my hair has some product so yeah I am used to finger detangling my hair so don't get worried I am so used to it it's, it's a game changer actually and you don't waste your time, especially if you're used to using that thing in your head. Ooh, some product. Oh my eye. I make sure that every strand of my hair has a dip conditioner, and then I go and comb out all uh, the tangled hair that I couldn't take out with my fingers. So basically. Um, the the finger detangling is just to make sure that I don't I can retain as much length as I can and then I comb after the detang finger detangling I comb out my hair then I put it in a twist or a braid just to secure the spot For me, it is super important that I put my hair in sections. If you have TWA, then you can leave uh, the section out. But for me, it is important that I go section by section just because I want to cover every single strand of my hair with product. I also want to detangle my hair thoroughly and not get overwhelmed with the hair just being all over and after detangling it is important that i put it in a twist a braid or just clip it away so that it doesn't detangle it doesn't tangle again after you're done with everything so after that i will put a plastic just to get some heat on my hair and wait for i waited for about an hour but you can wait for 30 minutes or follow the instructions on your deep conditioner of the mask you are applying So this is after an hour um, of deep conditioning and putting the plastic and the bonnet on just to show you how my hair looks after an hour and I genuinely love to see how it feels. It was feeling very hot and it's a bit cold in South Africa but my hair was, was feeling hot. Also, I'm taking out just so that you can see how bouncy my hair became and like the beginning, it was very stiff, it was very dry, now it's moisturized. This wash day was the best wash day ever, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know why, but my hair was feeling soft and yeah, this is how my hair looks after deep conditioning and not 
washing out the deep conditioner. As you can see, my hair was bouncing up and down. It was really nice. So I want to make a video on how I moisturize my hair after a wash day. Hence, my video will end with me showing you how my hair came out after taking out the the deep conditioner after washing it out and with no product my hair shrinks okay it shrinks a lot and you think what is going on did you lose your hair no i didn't it shrinks so thank you very much for watching see you on my next one and bye